welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about my favorite fashion trends for 2020. I gathered all of my favorite looks from different runway shows and I browsed my favorite websites and I created this whole entire video just for you. So if you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. So without further ado, let's hop into this video. Go! fashion trend that I think will be super popular in 2020 is the corset top. I love that this top still has the look of the corset but none of the uncomfortableness or the pain of it but still has a really nice kind of peplum shape. I love the button details and this fabric is so luxurious and thick. <laughs> Let's talk about underwear. I know this is a topic that I feel we often overlook, but honestly, if your undergarments look good, your outfit will look that much better. So you want your underwear to be very seamless, lightweight, not show through, and super comfortable. And I would highly recommend these from Airy. Since we're BFFs pretty much, I feel comfortable talking about this, but I had no idea that high-waisted underwear existed. In my mind, I associated high-waist underwear with granny panties, and I can't believe I've been missing out. They're so incredibly comfortable. I grew up in an era with low-rise jeans, so all of my underwear was low-rise. And nowadays, I feel that everything is high rise this next pair this is from Aerie as well and this is a seamless thong so this is what I would wear underneath of tights or leggings oh my gosh I love this underwear it's so comfortable I know it has a more like boyish kind of boy brief look I love that outerwear is getting a modern update with more textures and different types of fabrics. So you'll be seeing a lot of faux fur and teddy coats. This jacket kind of slightly off the shoulder if you unbutton this one. A faux fur coat is the perfect piece to elevate any basic outfit. Honestly, it makes you feel so bougie and it looks really expensive even though it wasn't. And I got mine at Rent the Runway, but you can get yours at any local thrift store for a fraction of the cost. Bella and Ali here to talk to you guys all about denim. So I think denim is definitely having its moment. Jeans are definitely a wardrobe staple for me. I reach for them all the time whenever I have that nothing to wear feeling. I even did an extensive Instagram poll asking you guys to predict certain fashion trends for pants and skinny jeans are slowly fading and going out of style whereas straight kind of that vintage cut is coming back in because women want more comfortable clothing and I think straight leg jeans are a lot looser, more comfy. These jeans are made out of 100% cotton, which is why it retains its shape so well. It doesn't have any spandex in it. Another trend that I think will pop up everywhere in 2020 are more sustainable bag options. So things that you could take with you to the grocery store that is reusable. Made out of a nice durable cotton material. You can like sling it over your shoulder and take it with you wherever you want. Up next, let's talk all about accessories, especially hair accessories like headbands with the more padded detailing. Scrunchies are not going anywhere at all. You'll find different textured scrunchies like velvet or made out of a legging material. I don't think hair clips are going anywhere. What if I told you that flare pants are coming back in style? And I know flares are pretty intimidating because it can pretty much overwhelm your body if you're short or if you're petite. When looking for flare pants, I really like to look for a crop silhouette. That way it hits at the perfect length, still makes your body look nice and curvy and voluptuous. You wanna make sure it goes above the belly button to make sure you look extra curvy. The next fashion trend that I think will definitely be here to stay for 2020 is the cardigan. So key features to look for are cardigans with tiny buttons like this, or you can go with a crop cardigan with larger buttons, maybe like three or four. You can also change up an old sweater and add buttons to it to give it that cardigan look. The next fashion trend is wearing more traditional style dresses. So this dress is inspired by an Indian fabric, the gold 
embroidery on here along with the bright vibrant orangey red color since it's almost lunar new year i wanted to wear a brighter kind of red color I know fast fashion has a bad reputation because there tends to be this pressure of following trends and buying a lot, not really using an item to its fullest potential. One thing I want to teach you guys is how to take better care of your clothes, so be sure to read the clothing label and see you know, whether you should dry clean it or maybe hand wash it. Don't just shove everything into the washing machine and hope that it gets clean because that's not how you take care of clothes. You guys get what I mean. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!